Good morning you guys, it's Karen and today I'm comparing two straighteners, hair straighteners, the Revamp and the Bellissima and these are both steam straighteners. So I had the Bellissima and I have already done a video I believe because I think that this is as close a dupe as you can probably get to the L'Oreal one um, and I had but I haven't actually tried the L'Oreal one um, but the problem with the only problem with the Bellissima one that I have is you have to hold it quite tight to get steam to come out and so when I saw the revamp one which was a lot cheaper at the time I thought I would try it it was about the same price as the Bellissima one in fact no it was a bit more expensive T typical with Amazon the prices have changed you know when I bought the Bellissima one I think it was 30 pound it's now 50 pound the revamp one when I bought it was £40 and it's now £80 so £80 versus £50 um, but they're both steam straighteners so I thought I would just do a quick review this is not too in depth but I am giving you um, a demo and showing you them on my hair let me show you the Bellissima first this is what it looks like it's got a little reservoir here that you can pull off and click back in place and fill up um, the button is on the outside here for the on and off and temperature which I really really like there is the temperature is 170 200 and 230 um, but I like that it's on the outside I think that was my cloud nine one that caused me problems where it's inside I'd end up burning myself so I like that that's on the outside and I like this is really easy to just click click out and then click back in again um, yeah that's pretty much all there is to tell you about that one um, and then this is the revamp one I don't like the controls the controls to switch it on is at the bottom there and then to adjust the temperature is right above it but to turn it down is literally right next to the on off button so a lot of the time I was switching it on and then trying to turn it down to the heat I wanted it to get to and I was just switching it off and so that I don't like that I think that's really inconvenient that the, the controls being inside this has got um, a water reservoir on the outside but you have to unclick it take it off and then put it back on I found this one quite tricky to do and then put it back on again like that so same kind of reservoir um, to compare these two the main differences are that this revamp one has got a lot of a longer cable it's about a meter longer I would say it's a lot longer that's not something that bothers me it's something that I used to look for but no it doesn't bother me at all this one um, the Bellissima has got a bigger hook on the end this one has only got a little hook um, trying to think with that yeah I've got a little hook there that, that probably would hook on heat up time the revamp takes a lot longer um, or it seems to take a lot longer to me anyway it's about maybe only about 20 seconds more than the other one they're both like a, under two minutes um but it just i don't know it felt longer with the revamp one maybe just because i'm a little bit more biased towards the bellissima one now because i can tell you that actually i prefer the bellissima one um and i'll show you in the video you know the differences between them you, you can't see a huge amount in the video other than there's more steam coming from the bellissima one and my hair feels smoother and that's what I prefer about the Bellissima one my hair just feels healthier using the Bellissima one um, I can you know run my fingers through it and it still feels soft when I've used the revamp one as I found with a lot of other straighteners my hair kind of felt dry um, so that's pretty much all to tell you about the comparison let me put the demo video in for you okay so I'm starting off with the Bellissima it's got plenty of water in it and I'm not I think I probably said I'm not straightening the whole amount because I never do that's not something I do so you can see the steam already so I'm having to hold it quite quite tightly to get that steam oh you can hear it I love hearing that sound I don't know why I know some people will be like you're not straightening your hair properly I'm not doing it methodically I know but this is how I straighten my hair and it works fine. <laughs> so you can see there's constantly steam coming out there, which I love. Okay. So that is that side done. You can see it doesn't actually need that much straightening, does it? okay so we've now got the um, revamp ones heat, heated up and I'm going to use it on this little bit of fringe here 
Again, you can see the steam coming out. They took a lot longer to heat up. I don't know what the exact times are, but they definitely take longer. But then I feel like once you use them, you can't see hardly any steam coming out. See, there's hardly any steam coming there, or not as much as there was on the Bellissima ones anyway. See that bit of hair's always got a little, oh. There's enough water in there. Yeah, there is. There's plenty of water. It's full. Completely full. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's got a bit of kink in it, that, hasn't it? That's about as much as I did on the other side, isn't it? So I don't know. I doubt you'll be able to see it this time because my hair's a bit smoother. But the other day I did this because um, I actually already filmed this footage, but I had the speaker wasn't working. When I watched the footage back, it was all crackly, so it was no good. Um, but you could see it then that this side where I've used the Bellissima was much smoother than this side. Now, what I can tell you, though, and it was the same the other day, is that this side feels drier than this side. This side feels a lot smoother and less dry. And I could actually see it, like I said in the footage the other day, but I can't see it just now. It, you know, they both look the same, I think, but there was less steam coming out of that revamp one, and this side just feels dry, and this side it doesn't. This side feels very, very smooth. So hopefully you can see from that demo that the Bellissima one had more steam coming from it. I don't think you could see the difference in the size, but like I said, I could see it before. Um, and this side, even now, you know, an hour later, this still feels really smooth and this feels dry. It just, I've always found that with straighteners. I think that's why I'm, I end up buying so many because I'm like, no, that one's making my hair feel dry. I didn't ever get it with my original GHD, didn't make my hair feel dry. But since then, it's like I'll use a straightener and think, oh no, I just, I need another one. That one's feels like it's making my hair dry. You know, it's kind of not just gliding through my hair. The Bellissima one, I feel like glides through my hair, you know. Um, so hopefully that's helpful to you if you're looking for a L'Oreal Steam Pod dupe. <laughs> um, I can't compare it to the... The L'Oreal one, like I said, it's very expensive. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried any of the other dupes because there are a couple of others that are offering um, steam straighteners on Amazon. And yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll speak to you again soon.